This your boy, Mr. Good Buzz, man. Make sure y'all holler at Mars Hydro for all y'all grow accessories. We got the iFresh Smart Inline Fan. They got ceiling mats with digital thermostat combinations. That's going to be perfect for your ceiling growth. Man, they even got the new Ad Light Supplemental Infrared ultraviolet and deep red bar lights that you can add to your grow with any lights they got the ph and the tds pin combo man come on man they got so much stuff man why not holla at mars hydro for your grow accessories man make sure y'all go to their website and use my discount code good buzz if you want to get you a nice discount on anything that they offer on the mars hydro website and that's including all the awesome accessories that they have for your grow man make sure you holler at them before it's too late man them prices go up shit crazy hey this channel is mostly about weed so if you're not 18 then you probably shouldn't be here if you are cool before we get started if you could like this video and subscribe that's the biggest thing you could do to help this channel and i greatly appreciate it let's get started from the block to the top, Mr. Goodbud is on a mission. Beat kids, beat these, gotta hustle for his children. Started from the dirt, now he's playing the seeds. In the game of life, he's trying to secure the bag with the trees. With a heart full of love and a mind filled with schemes, Mr. Goodbud is grinding, chasing his dreams. Got that green thumb, he's the master of the crops, turning plants into stacks. He never stops. From a small operation to a multi million dollar stash, Mr. Goodbud's got his business moving, making that cash. A rolling empire. That's his legacy, taking care of his kids, providing them. Y'all fuck with that, man? What's the deal? It's your boy Good Buzz Say back in the building again, man. Yes, sir. We back with the flower booth, man. They're going to be dead weeks three and four, man. And, yo, the organic still rule, dog. I'll tell you, top, hands down, man. The organic still rule, man. So check out. So you already know we got these. We got two different strands in here. We got three red hot bags. We got two truffle off runs. So you already know, we got this one revenge project. Um, you're going to get to see how this turns out in this video. Um, everything else is looking amazing. As you can see, we actually start to bud. So in this video, at this time, I actually had spider mites. I was waiting for the things I ordered, the no pesters. I know you guys probably seen those in other videos and I used them. I was waiting for the no pesters to come in the mail. Um, this, these bitches was flowering so fast, like the organic was going so crazy that... I, had, I didn't have a choice. I had to go ahead and just get them in there as soon as I could. Now, I don't recommend when you're using no pesters that you use them during flower. Day 18. Now, we're going to get to that as well. And just look how fast the buzz was coming on. So, I just was like, I got to go ahead. I thought we were still going to be early in flower. So, I went ahead and just, I, I, I thought I was going to get in. But I couldn't risk the spider mites, like, taking over late in the flower game. And I wasn't going to really be able to spray so I did decide to go ahead and use them now. Um, something else I discovered with the no test strips, uh, I'll just go ahead and talk about because, you know, I just talk shit while I'm while I'm doing the video anyway. So y'all don't actually have to see what I'm talking about because it's going to pop up soon. But um, the no test strips actually causes, like, some type of weird damage to my plants during in veg uh, when I use it. Um, and it's not all of them. It's only certain ones. Like, certain, certain my sensitive plants, when I use that no test strips, it's like they just curl up and, like, start to, like, like they start to die off or something. I don't know. It's weird. Like if I was to leave it in there, it would be a rat for them. So I definitely don't recommend using it at all during flower. And be careful when you're using it uh, day 19 during veg. Uh, so as you can see, man, this girl just out of nowhere, she just died like a motherfucker. Like I don't know what was wrong with her. Uh, she was looking good as fuck one night, and then the next day she just fell off and just I came back in. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, damn. So I guess she wasn't trying to go through an entire uh, flower cycle. She was already flowering. It's crazy because the bud is still like really good on this. And so I just went ahead and hung it up and I smoked that shit, y'all. Like no cap, that shit got smoked fast. And the red hot bag is really fire. So what I ended up doing is just went ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and pull her up out of here just so we can make space. Everything else is looking good. Everything else went in the flower like normal from bed. Um, so. I had my suspicions whether that girl was gonna make it all the way through an entire flower, uh, flower cycle. Um, turns out she did not, man. So, but everybody else in here is so healthy. I think this is like one of my healthiest grows that I've done yet. And I think, I know a lot of people gonna talk like, damn, but you use that no pesture. It ain't healthy no more. Hey, man, shit, I ain't giving no fucks, dog. I still smoke all that shit. 
that, that the, the, the tree from this grow is half gone you feel me that shit was so fire this shit didn't really it didn't affect shit to me i smoked that shit up you know what i'm saying and it ain't getting sold to nobody so fuck it who cares i mean i ain't want spiders all through my shit so i went ahead and did it um that's so go ahead and do that at your own discretion as you can see so yeah man so i couldn't believe she ended up dead like that so let's go ahead and pull her up out of here man that's this is exactly why i put her right here in this corner just in case she didn't make it or something weird happened with her, I was gonna be able to easily go ahead and pull it right up out of there. And I was gonna just readjust the rest of them. So like I said, I'm just gonna take this one female number two that's in the middle, which turns out to be the motherfucking keeper, nigga. I couldn't even keep that a secret. Yes, this is the female number two is the one that turned out to be the keeper, y'all. Like, this girl is real wild. Like, the, the flowers that come through on this shit is insane. I mean, you can see, we don't barely got no flowers on this, so. Just looking at this, uh, I feel like I was a little late getting that no pest strip in there, but it wasn't too much flower on it, as you can see. Uh, we still was looking at really early bud sites, so I'm like, yeah, we should have been all right. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this. We do got this small little space in the middle, but I'm telling you, it's gonna pretty much fill up completely by the time these girls get through flower. I uh, mean, let's, let's go ahead and, and get my favorite grow off that I've done so far off the ground, man. Y'all get to see everything. Um, so up underneath that Mars Hydro FC 8000 Evo, baby, that bitch goes so crazy. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these girls fed, um, and we can go ahead and close out the feeding. Uh, we got the all-purpose, which is not what I usually use. I usually like vegetable garden, but they didn't have it in stock just 444. But we will go ahead and use it with the bone meal, just like we usually do. And because we ain't got the 444, I'm gonna go ahead and add some potassium, and that's how we gonna get it, man. So we're going to go ahead and, just like always, man, it's been a long time, so I got to go ahead and top dress. We use two tablespoons per gallon. So we got a five-gallon pot. That's going to be 10 tablespoons of food. Now we're going to split that up. We're going to do 75% the all-purpose, and then we're going to do 25% of the bone meal. And that's going to get you. So this is a 10-gallon pot, seven and a half tablespoons of the other one and 2.5 tablespoons of the other one uh, sometimes if you don't have a five gallon pot or like if you got a seven gallon you got to figure out what that is it's a little more complicated but you're gonna have to do that man but i'll tell you this formula works really well for me um and after using the jacks i'm about to switch up exactly how i do my dry nutrients um because i learned a lot of stuff using the jacks and just the way that it the jacks is like heavily concentrated on on using cow mag and then they got the other southern which is the pk so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna basically i'm gonna basically treat my dry, down to earth nutrients exactly how jack says and then use a pk boost so i'm gonna find a i got a the perfect potassium boost that i'm gonna use um that's gonna go crazy um y'all gonna see man probably in the next photo booth i'm gonna show y'all so this is the infamous hot shot like i said uh, i don't recommend using this during flower uh, if you don't give a fuck like me then go ahead it ain't do shit uh, it ain't make no difference. I left it in here for a week. Uh, yes, I did. I left it in here for a week and I took it out. Uh, I know I'm probably gonna get some backlash in the comments for this, but I really don't give a fuck. I like to be completely transparent. And I show y'all exactly what the fuck I do. Just in case you like me, like you know what I'm saying? Some people don't give a fuck about all that, all that extra shit y'all be talking about. And we gonna do what the fuck we wanna do anyway. And sometimes people wanna know if they decide to do what the fuck they wanna do anyway, is it gonna fuck them over and i'm here to let you know i'm gonna take that risk for you um and it did not fuck me over i'm not dead i'm still alive i'm still good it was only the one time um like i said it was an emergency nigga so if you in an emergency and you feel like this is your last resort then i did not die from this so we good y'all uh, i do go ahead and put them right in front of the fan lower the fan down and i'm just gonna let that blow and like i said this shit does cause some type of issue with my Veg plant. So just the just two of them in particular, my red hot bag pheno uh, from this growth, which was a very sensitive plant. I'm about to show y'all as well. That red hot bag pheno was actually very fucking sensitive. And my um my cat and all from outside um, from Bay Area. So I got I have issues with them too. So as you can see, we start the the buzz actually start to get a lot bigger in these next two days. Um, so yes, I was looking at them. I'm um, like, damn, they, I don't know. 
Like they getting up there, fuck it. Hey, shit, that shit turned out good as hell. I mean, you can see, pay attention to how good and how clean my canopy looks as well. Like, look how clear and like, look the look how I got the, the scrog net filled up real good, but I still got enough airflow. You see that air flowing? I got plenty of airflow, man. Actually, look, comment down below. What would y'all rather have? Had? Would y'all rather have? So, say you got two phenos. One pheno just looks amazing and it smells good, but it just looks crazy. It got perps, super trichomes, and it just looks amazing. But it's not as strong and it's slightly not as dense as the other pheno. And the other pheno looks very, very similar, but just slightly not as frosty. It doesn't have the perps, but the the fucking terpene profile is off the fucking chain. It's out of this fucking world. It is crazy. And it's dense as all hell. It's very, very dense. But which one would y'all pick, man? I, I, I'm i torn between the ones that I picked, but I ain't gonna let y'all know which one I picked yet, but I'm torn. I did go ahead and turn that light up to 75%. I don't even use this light through the entire grow. I don't use it turned all the way up. So I keep it, I keep this light at 75% for the rest of the grow. Oh yeah, and I was feeling it. Ooh, these girls had me happy when I was opening these tents, boy. I'm telling you. They were so beautiful. Yeah, how y'all doing? Yeah, they all over that bitch like, yeah, I'm telling you, and I love when that when I open that tent and I smell that loud ass gas cloud that just come out. Because of that carbon filter that I'm using. It's insane. Day 25. Take a look at Truffle Lava Run's Fino number two. Fino number one right here. So this is the one that was super frosty and had perps. And the other one was the other one with the crazy turbine profile, just not as frosty, but way denser. It was two very, very good phenos, man. Bay Area makes it really, really hard for me to choose between their phenos, man. Like, it drives me fucking insane. I wish there was more like Robin Hood where one pheno is way better than the other ones and it's just easy to pick from. Not to talk shit about Robin Hood, but Bay Area phenos be so damn close and similar, dog. Like, I don't know. It be so hard for me to choose from the phenos, and it's always like that. And I literally drop single seeds from them. Like the truffle I runs was a two seed drop. The cat and was the one drop outside. Blueberry runs was the one drop seed. I don't even be dropping multiple seeds from them. The first time I even dropped multiple seeds, I just now dropped the um what what is that? What is the slumper? I just dropped some of that slumper day 28. And I dropped all six. I dropped six beans. Now take a look at this. Now I want y'all to pay attention. This girl, this rare hot bag number two, she is extremely, extremely calmac deficient. It's like, it's like she can't go too long without getting, without having a deficiency in the calmac. And I wasn't really sure what it was. And I started to give them um, more Epsom salt. Uh, and this is before I had the uh, rest of these jacks, I, I believe as well. But I was wondering like, why was this girl like, and the rest of the girls in here wasn't having that issue, but it's just the one. And it didn't really slow her down. She still was stacking and putting on weight and she still looked amazing the entire time. But I had to keep up with the cow mag for, for a red high back funeral number two. I had to keep up with that cow mag. It was like she couldn't get enough. And I even, I even realized it was definitely only that one plant. Cause I went over to the vest tent. I went over and looked at the clones that we took from her. I'm gonna show y'all real quick. But other than that, man, she's still looking really good. But I look at the clones and they was just, they just ain't believe it or not. I still got this clone. Like I bought it back. Cause it was the cow mac. It's crazy. Like when you feed it with it needs, like they came back to life completely. But this is one of my sensitive plants though. It gets hurt every time that, that, and maybe it got hurt from, hmm. I didn't even think about that. Maybe it was a no pest strip in the first place. Cause it kind of looks similar, but I healed it with cow mag though. But I did do some research on my phone. I mean, and I found like, it looked just like this deficiency right here. Uh, so this is a calcium deficiency. So I did give it increased calcium. I did get the calcium nitrate and it did fix the problem. So who knows, comment down below. We out.